event channels represent timestamps, such as the pulse output of a stimulator connected to a 1401 digital input, for example. Spike 2 records these timestamps based on the rising edge of a digital pulse, event plus, the falling edge of a digital pulse, event minus, or both edges as a level channel. Level channels are usually used to indicate the on or off state of a connected device, such as a heat lamp or a light source, for example. Event channels are created by clicking the new drop down in the sampling configuration and selecting the type of event channel you want to record in the list. Event channels can use any of the 1401 digital input bits from 8 to 15 as set by the 1401 port drop down. Bits 8 and 9 are usually available on the BNC connectors labelled Event Input 0 and 1 on the front panel of your Micro 1401 or Power 1401. With bits 10 to 15 available on the digital input connector on the rear. The maximum event rate field should be set to your estimate of the maximum mean event rate that will be sustained over a few seconds. Spike 2 then uses this value to optimise buffer space allocation. This field does not set the maximum instantaneous rate, which may be much higher. The debounce field sets the minimum acceptable interval between consecutive events in milliseconds. Events that fall closer than this value to the previous event are not saved to disk. Typically, you would use this if logging events from a mechanical switch. These types of switches commonly have bouncy contacts so that, when the switch is activated, you get multiple switch actions in a very short period, all logged as events. Using the debounce setting will log the first event and ignore all those that fall within the debounce time range. Another type of digital input event can be recorded using digital markers. Markers contain both a timestamp and four 8-bit marker codes, which are set by reading the values of digital input bits 0 to 7 in response to a pulse. These marker codes are often used to signify certain experimental conditions. An example of this could be codes sent to the 1401 from an experiment design program, such as E' or presentation, to signify different types of stimulus. Channel 32 is always reserved for digital marker data input and is set up in the sampling configuration by selecting marker from the new drop down list. I hope this tutorial on setting up sampling of event channels has been useful.